Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Saturday, the 13th of August. It's the weekend and this is your play of the day. Of course, we always ask if you would take a minute here before we get rolling, smash that like button, hit the thumb. We appreciate the effort, of course. And uh, make sure you get subscribed to the Winners and Winners YouTube channel while you're there smashing things. Click the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content from me, from Rachel, Chris King, Mason Foles, David Delano, uh, Arthur Reyes, you know, the whole gang, the whole gang, and they've been red hot, guys. Check out the records, and that's what I like about the new system. It's all completely transparent. You can go to the winnersandwiners.com website. You can click on the expert handicappers. You can see everybody's record for a lifetime, the last week, and the last month. So see who's hot and get on board, all right? And, of course, speaking of hot, we want to know what you're playing. We've got some great handicappers out there. A lot of positive scores for the week. Keep up the great work. Uh, put those plays in the comment section. If you're playing the contest, make sure you put make your first play your best bay or your best play or just put a BB there. Make sure I know it's your best bet. And uh, you get them right. You make a profit. We'll give you the shout-out. You get enough of them right. You could be the capper of the day. And like we said, we are doing the contest. So if you want to get involved in our King of the Cappers contest, chance to appear right here with me on a video on Monday. We got uh, we got a couple more days. You could get hot, take a couple long shots, and get yourself uh, get yourself an appearance. So uh, yeah, check that out as well. I think that's it. Let's take a look and see how we did yesterday. Well, guys, it was uh, it was uh, to quote uh, Limp Biscuit, it was uh, just one of those days, and actually it was on the good side of it. As we had the uh, Detroit Tigers and the Chicago Red Sox, or, or excuse me, Chicago White Sox, had the White Sox on the run line. Remember, guys, I told you the story about you don't have to be faster than the Bear, you just got to be faster than the Tigers, and that's exactly right. I don't think there was a lot of teams Chicago could have beaten with that effort. But luckily, Detroit was one of them as the White Sox win that one two to zip. Went four and zero oh on the premium side. Had the Falcons, Lions over. Had the uh, San Diego Padres on the run line against Washington had the New York football Jets. Nice to hold on there at the end. And we had the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers, Kansas City Royals over nine. That was our best bet. And that one looked to be in a serious trouble as this game was 0-0 after six innings. Wasn't quite the onslaught of where we saw nine runs and three outs in the Colorado game on Thursday. But it wasn't bad as they ended up putting up uh, 11 runs. In three innings. Nicely done. Sal Perez hits the two-run bomb in the bottom of the eighth to break the nine and take us over the total. So that's a 5-0 and o day, guys. We'll take it. I told you on Monday, I said, you know what? It's, I'm going to get hot. I can feel it coming. And since then, premium plays have been 10-3. and three. So if you're looking for a premium service, if you're looking to ride the wave, you know what? When I was cold, I told you not to play me. Now I'm hot. I'm telling you to jump on board. So make sure you check out my premium plays. Along with my best bet, normally $49.99. For watching the video, we give you a half off, 50%. Make it $25 out the door, J63HLPSS. That's the code you want to use. Of course, that code is in the description of today's video, along with the link that will take you right there. And the best bet is guaranteed. So if we don't hit, if I'm not hot like I tell you I am, get that money back. All right. So that being said, let's take a look. And see what we got cooked up for today. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna do a little two teamer. A lot of you guys took two teamers yesterday. By the way, the Mets uh, put the hammer on a lot of my good handicappers in the comment section. Mets uh, no showed one run, nicely done. Uh, so we're going to play the uh, San Diego Padres and another team that a lot of you guys played, and that was the Los Angeles Dodgers, as they go once again up against the Kansas City Royals. Dodgers send Andrew Haney to the mound. It's been a weird year for Haney. He's been kind of injury plagued, and uh, but he has been uh, fantastic when he's been healthy. He's made only six starts, given up one earned run or less in all six. Um, the uh, Royals will send uh, uh, Brad Keller to the mound. Brad Keller having a Brad Keller kind of season. Uh, 440 ERA, uh, 128 whip, just kind of doing Brad Keller things, pedaling around. But here's the deal. This is a, uh, a Dodgers team. You know, the Kansas City Royals, kind of a cute story. They're a, uh, basically, I think they're one game over 500 since the 29th of June. Like I said, cute story. You know what the Dodgers are since the 29th of June? 30 and 5. That's right. They're 25 over 
Jesus, since the since the twenty uh, ninth of June, I don't see any reason to bet the Royals here, guys. So we're going to take the Dodgers as one leg, and the other leg we're going to take uh, the, the San Diego Padres as uh, the Nationals will start. Checks notes. Annabelle Sanchez, raise your hand if you knew Annabelle Sanchez was still in the major leagues. Anybody at all? Uh, raise your hand if you still knew the Nationals were in the major leagues. Uh, they are not good. They are not good at all. Uh, to paraphrase the late, great Bum Phillips, when it comes to bad baseball, the Nats may not be in a class by themselves, but it doesn't take long to call a roll. Um, this is a dreadful team. Sanchez has been awful all season. Uh, he's made just five starts, but uh, they have not been... They have not been ideal as he's lost all five and by an average of 3.8 runs per game. Uh, about a month ago, Darvish was having his struggles on the road, but that has kind of been fixed. He's been pretty good at home, and he's been pretty good on the road as well. Uh, 270 ERA, .98 whip in his last six starts. Uh, Padres eh, might, may have 99 problems, but the Nats ain't one. Uh, I think San Diego takes care of business in this one. I wouldn't be surprised to see him. Cover on the run line. Wouldn't hate you if you wanted to play the run line in either one of those. As it is, those two coupled together is going to be minus 105 to win 100. So that's what we're going to go with. Give me the two-teamer, San Diego Padres and the L.A. Dodgers, both on the money line. Put them together. That's minus 105. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. You guys know how I did yesterday. Uh, let's check in and see how y'all did. First of all, the standings in the King of the Capper contest. Uh, Andrew Kalaje just picks up another uh, parlay win. Nicely done. He had the uh, Braves and the Dodgers. He's at 415. Brian Gillahan, the captain, I don't know if he's, he's, he's actually leading it. 459. Remember, he actually, oh, was it last week that he won or Steve won last week? I can't, I can't remember. Uh, it must have, I think Steve won last week. Couldn't make it. Brian was second, but. Uh, maybe the captain will be in port if he does win. So we'll see. We got a couple days to go. Uh, there's been a uh, adjustment as far as the score. Ted Piano now at 373 playing that soccer. Nicely done, Teddy. Uh, T Train 191, Z Walk Carter 185. Both of those guys are in striking distance. July XV, July 15th. We don't see him every day, but he's at 288. Could make a move. So a lot of guys still in positive territory. Plenty of room, especially if you could find some dogs for the next couple of days, all right? So that's where the standings are as far as Capper of the Day goes. Stephen the Godfather, Godan, a 1-0 plus 110, as he had the Arizona Cardinals plus 110 against the Bengals. They took care of business right there. Max Garcia, 1-0 plus 500, had the 49ers. C-Dub on the pitch, 3-1-1 plus 200. Ken from Philly going 3-1 plus 575. I think I got the math right on that one, Kenny. You might want to double check me. Uh, Andrew Kalaje, like I said, he goes 1-0 plus 665 for our purposes. Again, Braves Dodgers plus 133. That makes Andrew Kalaje at 1-0 plus 650 or 665 the capper of the day. Well done to you, sir. Well done to the rest of you guys. I am uh, I'm impressed. Everybody's having a, well, not everybody, but a lot of you guys are having really good weeks in positive territory. It's Saturday. Let's go out there and have some fun. Enjoy it. And uh, let's make some money. All right. We'll be back here tomorrow to talk all about it. Same bad time, same bad channel. You know the drill. I'll be doing my best to give you guys that one play where we can all pick up those winning tickets and head back to the window. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you then.